Sydney from Sydney Style and welcome to another week of How To. This week we're talking about how to transform your dresses into a skirt. So the great thing about this magic trick is you take your dresses that you wore over the holidays, you know, those fancier styles that you spent money on, and you can get more use out of them. So this dress right here, I actually wore New Year's Eve. Uh, my readers, if you follow me on my blog, Sydney Style, voted for me to wear this feather dress. So I did. And when am I gonna wear a feather dress again? I'm probably not but I will wear the feather skirt. So the first step is putting something on top of your dress. I really like pink and black together. Blush was huge on the runways, so this whole blush and black color combo is really great. So what I did here is started with a um, ribbed knit. Um, on my blog, actually, I did a turtleneck, so you can really use whatever's in your closet. You just wanna make sure it's fairly fitted to the body because the next step is putting on a belt to cinch your waist. That way, it looks like you're actually tucking a top into your skirt rather than putting a top over the dress. And then it's quite simple, you know, you finish it off if you wanna add a little leather jacket, if it's colder where you live, maybe add some edge, just a little bit of jewelry, some pumps, and you're good to go. So for dress number two, we're going with a bandage dress. If you follow me, you know I love me some bandage. And a bandage dress is obviously very easy to wear at night. It's a bit harder during the day. Bandage skirts, however, are much easier to wear during the day. So let's turn this bandage dress into a skirt. Step one is putting a sweater on top. I like to go for something looser, so either a chunky knit or this is a cashmere sweater, so it's really, really cozy. And if you're tall, you're gonna wanna leave it just as is, hanging loose. If you're short like me, you're gonna wanna fold it over because you need to have more of that balance going on. Step two, throwing on a high heel. I just went with basic nude pumps. And then you wanna layer some gold jewelry to dress it up a notch. dress we're talking about is a skater dress, which means it has more of a voluminous skirt. So voluminous skirts are really in for spring. This was actually from the holidays. I wore it during a Golden Globes to a little luncheon, uh, but I want to get more use out of it. So a great way to do that is with a chambray shirt, something every woman should have in their wardrobe. So if you have a dress with a higher neckline like this, you do need to button the chambray shirt all the way up to the neck. You want to go for one that has a lighter material, so none of those thicker denim shirts. The reason you want the lighter material is because you're going to fold it under and then belt it. Use a thick belt, that way you can make sure it's really secure and you want to make sure to tuck everything in. You probably have to look in the mirror behind and in front to make sure everything is completely tucked in. Once you do that, all you have to do is layer a statement necklace. Go play around with whatever color works with the dress you're wearing. And then on bottom, add a fun heel. I just went with a little leopard to add a pop to my outfit. episode of how to turn your dresses into skirts. If you have any more questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. And also let me know what you want to see next week. Do you want to see a how to fashion, beauty? What are your questions? I'm here to answer them with my special guests, of course. Next week, I have a new special guest coming on, so you'll definitely want to stay tuned on that. And I'd love to see if you guys are turning your dresses into skirts. You can tag me on Instagram. I'm at Sydney Summer, and I'll repost some of my favorites throughout the series. And as always, for more fashion inspiration, make sure you check out my blog, sydneystyle.com. I'll see you next week.